it's hard to see how you could rapidly move off of fossil fuels without a significant role for nuclear power. We're going to need all of the carbon-free sources that we can find, and renewable energy certainly is part of that story, but it's very difficult to see how renewables could possibly replace all of fossil fuels on the time scale that's needed. People worry about the risk of accidents with nuclear power, but in fact it's been by far the safest source of energy. Way safer than coal, way safer than natural gas or oil. In 60 years of nuclear power, we've had three accidents that got a lot of public attention. Three Mile Island, Chernobyl, and Fukushima. Three Mile Island didn't kill anybody, but it got a lot of attention mostly because it happened right when a movie, The China Syndrome with Jane Fonda, was in the theaters. This is Jack Adele. We have a serious condition. To get everybody Fukushima else. was an epic natural disaster, the fourth worst earthquake in history, and a 50-foot tsunami, and it killed 18,000 people. That disaster did, but none of them at the nuclear plant. So the Fukushima nuclear plant withstood all of that, and some radiation leaked out, but not enough to hurt people. So, I mean, this was actually a great success for nuclear safety. And then Chernobyl killed dozens of people and potentially a few thousand from cancer over the years. It was very badly handled, Soviet Union days, but that's one accident that killed people over 60 years. If you add up the numbers, coal kills more than that many people every couple of weeks. Outdoor air pollution is killing 10,000 people a day. That's what the World Health Organization has concluded. That's, you know, three and a half million people a year. Coal is the dangerous fuel. It's the one that's killing all the time. Coal smoke causes emphysema, it causes cancer, people die. Children die, old people die. And replacing it with nuclear power is going to just save millions of lives. People are really afraid of nuclear power because it's associated with nuclear weapons and because they don't understand it very well. Nuclear plants cannot blow up like atomic bombs, so that's one misunderstanding. And of course, the Simpsons have also given us a number of misunderstandings about how the whole industry works. Oh, you stupid son of a... In contrast to the waste from uh, fossil fuels, which is spread in the atmosphere and in the water and is killing millions of people per year, nuclear waste doesn't harm anybody. Nuclear waste is actually a solved problem. It's just that it's been resisted. The question of nuclear waste always makes me smile a little bit because I think people think it's a technical problem. It's not. We already know how to treat the waste. We already know what to do with the waste. This is not a problem in other countries. Sweden, Finland, Japan, France all have nuclear waste storage facilities that safely store the nuclear waste. You know, it's well-meaning people. They, they think they're environmentalists, but in many ways they're actually harming the environment by not having an open mind and looking at all of the potential energy sources. Nuclear power is not inherently 
expensive. It's become very expensive because we're still using very old technology. The secret of economics with nuclear power is to make a lot of them one after the other of the same design. France did this, they standardized their designs, and that's one reason they got really cheap electricity. South Korea is doing the same thing as France did. They're standardizing design and building over and over. So what's taking us $12 billion to build now, a new gigawatt nuclear plant, South Korea can do that for $2 billion. Natural gas is fossil fuel, and so when you burn it, it emits huge amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. It's also primarily made of methane, which also significantly contributes to global warming. I saw a show called Years of Living Dangerously where they actually went around with a methane detector and showed where all the leaks were, but it's been well documented and studied in a lot of scientific literature that there is tremendous leakage of methane. There is a lot of rethinking of nuclear power going on in the environmental movement. Just like me, I used to be against nuclear power, but I'm changing my mind about it. I'm running into a lot of people, environmentalists, who have changed their view against nuclear power and now see it as key. When I give talks at colleges, young people are much more receptive. I would say a vast majority of them understand that nuclear power has a great potential for solving the climate problem, and they don't have this objection that the older people have to nuclear power. Today, 48 nations besides our own are generating electricity at low cost by use of nuclear reactors. We're going to have to build a new generation of safe, clean nuclear power plants in America. Well, our experts have put the odds on a fatal accident occurring in a nuclear power plant at 300 million to one. That makes it safer than all the other causes of accidental death put together. Put another way, it's about as likely as you're being run over by a horse in your bathtub. I know it's uh, been long assumed that those who champion the environment are opposed to nuclear power. But the fact is, nuclear energy remains our largest source of fuel that produces no carbon emissions. To meet our growing energy needs and prevent the worst consequences of climate change, we'll need to increase our supply of nuclear power. It's that simple. 